started this channel I did not expect to ever be reviewing MVG Dart sent to me by Winmore, but here we are. It's launch day for Winmore 2022 range, and the Mighty Mike, the Green Machine, is back with a new dart, the Exact 21.5. These darts look very similar to the ones he's been throwing lately, and I'm pretty sure that they are his match darts. They have all the characteristics we expect to see in a 90% tungsten MVG dart, but with a nice rustic atomized coating. Now these darts are actually nicely displayed in the window here, which I didn't realize, but I will very, very shortly, with the MVG on the front, signed, printed, and the window opens up to give you a better look at the contents inside. So now that we've had a look inside, let's get right inside. We have an MVG point protector with three barrels and the vector stems, including the MVG design flights at the top. It's been a while since we've seen atomized darts and I really like them as a coating, so I'm happy to see them back. They are well suited to an MVG style dart as his darts always look, well, kind of used, but it gives you confidence that they group well and that he's happy with them. Fully set up and the darts have a really nice look to them with the matte atomized coating. The points are silver though, which is a pet hate of mine, so either rough them up for grip or consider putting your own points in to avoid dropouts or if you just want some extra grip to rest your fingers on the points. Now the bull nose is the same as we tend to see on MV Jarts, and we have the standard ring grip that moves into a Cullen Rids kind of style rounded ring grip, much like Ross from Clash of the Tungsten had on his darts. I love the way that when the light catches these flights, they sort of change from yellow to green. It's a really, really cool effect. We then have the laser etched logo of MVG before having the same repeat grip with some extra standard rings and a smooth section at the back with the Winmore branding laser etched. You'll notice these darts are a bit thicker than the stems so it does slide down at the back near the last section and we have a very attractive looking vector stems with a pearlescent blue metal cap that is not removable but holds the flights well. It's low profile at the rear and also helps deflections to avoid those robin hoods. It's a nice tight fit for the flights that depending on how you catch the light or if you have material behind the yellow clear section it starts going green which is really lovely effect I like on these flights. Enough talking, let's get these to the board. Now let me be honest and clear, I have not been a fan of MVG darts. I find them quite plain to me and usually too long, but there's really something about these. Maybe it's the weight or maybe previous editions were longer, I'm just not sure, but I love this atomized grip and the darts are flying really nicely. They're 53 millimeters long, but they don't feel like it. Maybe I'm just throwing better, I don't know, but I'm really enjoying these so far. I got similar entry from all areas, which was high tail, which is perfect for me. The coating doesn't slip when your fingers get a little bit sweaty, and it really makes you feel connected to the dart. I've always enjoyed atomized darts, such as the Ian White atomized darts by Red Dragon, and these are really very, very nice to throw. I even liked that rounded, rid style grip. When it's polished I find it to be too slippy, but with this coating on all of a sudden it makes it just a really nice ring that's a very unique feel and reference point, but it's an absolute pleasure to throw. I don't have time today to use all the flights I would usually use, and I really wanted to let you guys know how I feel about the dart. So I've stuck on my Condor Zero Stress Stem Flight Combo that I've been using on my gold darts, so I can really tell you how I feel with my setup. Well that didn't take long did it? A confident 180 and I'm so surprised as I didn't expect it from MVG darts that don't usually suit me. I'm throwing on the new Blade 6 Carbon, which if you haven't watched my review already you really must. Is it the best board ever? Well, watch my review. Anyway, back to these surprising darts. I've sped up the throwing, but these darts really were fun to throw, and I don't usually like darts this long, as you know. 
I'm confident it's because they are lighter, making me feel more like I'm throwing a conversion set or a soft tip, but they just glide through the air and the more and more I throw them, the more I get used to them and can adjust. I'm finding that the adjusting is really, really easy with these darts. It's really very surprising, but a very nice surprise. I'm actually quite impressed. As you saw, I did have a deflection there, but that would have happened with any set with that kind of entry and that collision. My only actual gripe with these is a familiar one, as you've seen if you've watched many of my reviews, the points. Rough these smooth points up or maybe stick in a grippy point and these would really be something. Cool. Imagine if they had a sandblasted point in with these atomized barrels. Actually don't. Whitlock's board killer points on my new blade carbon is a no-no. Even if it is durable, I'm not risking my pretty new board. It's so pretty. Okay, three more now, and then we'll do a quick summary on these quite surprising, but very nice MVG darts. These are a good medium grip dart. I give them looks 7 out of 10, and in value, 7 out of 10 as well. They are a player dart after all. In summary, at $46.95, I can honestly say that this is an MVG dart I would purchase. A fantastic one for the collection, and I think the most throwable one for people who don't typically get on with barrels that are beyond 50mm. For those of you who enjoy this length of barrel, I think you would really like these. The ring cuts are familiar, but the coating changes everything. The whole feel of the dart in your hand. They are forgiving and have a good standard of entry because they have a good central weight and balance. I personally prefer a shorter setup with these and a larger flight for maximum tail height entry. And I would rough up these points or stick in some grippier points in that give your dart that confidence as it enters the board. They look nice, have a rustic feel, but they feel comfortable with a coating and grip type that should last. I hope you enjoyed the review, check out my review of the new Winmore products and thanks again Winmore for sending me them. If you're new to the channel please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video so that YouTube can help others find my content and it will help me grow and bring more content like this to you the fans. Thanks for watching and remember, love darts.